Hi there, this afternoon I've been playing with my Raspio Pro hat which has got three legs on it and a button and my Raspberry Pi which is running Sonic Pi version 3 and one of the nice things about this is that it's called the IO version and we can actually get it to control the LEDs here and when we press the button we can actually get the Raspberry Pi to send some uh, information to make Sonic Pi play. Um, that is done by means of one intermediate little package. I've got a little um, Python script running in this window here. It's the top part of the code up here, which is using uh, GPI of zero and also the Python OSC um, library. And by using these two together, we can actually get the two to communicate very easily together. So I'm going to start the program running on Sonic Pi. And what it's going to do is to run two live loops this one here is to do with receiving information when the button is pressed and when the button is pressed it's going to play some notes um, and these will be generated in the script over here. It actually happens in this section called the message and it's going to go through um, a loop and it's going to send uh, in fact two streams one's going to go to sender and one to sender two. Sender is going to go to my um, uh, Raspberry Pi and Sender 2 is going to go to my um, Mac over here and we'll see in a moment that we can do this remotely as well. And um, the other live loop here is going to receive some information, is going to send some information to the Raspberry Pi and it's going to send a series of 1 or 0 or 0 or 1 um, and this is going to control when the red and the white LEDs are on. So, so much for blethering. Let's just start it running and you'll see it working. Here we go, it started running and immediately you can see that the LEDs are changing colour. In time with the music, for the lower octave, it puts the, red, uh, the, the white one on, for the higher octave puts the red one on. Now, if we want to speed it up, we can change this on the fly. If I come up here and I simply remove the um, comment from that line there and we put a comment in this line here we're going to say, change the conditions at which the two signals are going to change and this is all done on the fly feature of sonic pi uh, you can just change the program and rerun it it continues on uh, straight away let's look at the leds as i do it three two one go and you can see that now we're changing the leds on each note rather than on each octave and they flash uh, much more rapidly. You may wonder what the blue LED's for. Well, that's going to be lit when I press the button down here, and you'll hear the effect of it. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. It's going to play some notes and Sonic Pi, and if you look down here, you can see the information arriving when I press it. You can see interspersed with that, there's all those extra bits arriving, and that's what's controlling Sonic Pi here. So let's stop the program from running there. And um, oh dear, we've left with the LED on. Well, that's all right. We've got a Sonic Pi here. We can control that. I'm simply going to uncomment the top two lines of the program, uh, which I'll do there. Oops, no, I won't. Uncomment them here. I pressed the wrong thing. Let's just do it. It's a bit difficult to do this when you're holding the camera and typing with one hand. There we are. That's done it. So I'll stop that running. And we'll run the program again and watch the LED and uh, 3, 2, 1, go. It's simply going to turn the LEDs off because we're telling it to send 0, 0 as the data at the end. And that's going to put a 0 on each of those two LEDs there. Right, now my Pi is actually, my um, Mac's gone to sleep, but I'll just come over here. And we've got exactly the same program running here. And uh, if we run it on here, it'll have exactly the same effect. But this is going remotely. So we can remotely control the uh, a GPIO on the um, Pi. So let's start that running. Here we go. And you can see that's playing the same notes. And what's it doing over here? It's doing exactly the same as it did before. Um, I didn't actually change the, um, put the change line in here, but let's just do it manually. So if I just put an extra line in here and say, if, um, oops, if, S no if um, look percent 
2 equals 0. Equals 0. There we are. Bit of uh, one handed typing. And we'll comment out that line um, in here. There we go. And let's run that again. And we'll watch the uh, LEDs as we do so. 3, 2, 1, go. Oops, I made a mistake. Um, what did I do? I put in a pound sign instead of a hash. I didn't have my shift held down, right, my alt held down there for the pound sign on the Mac here. There we are, that's better. Let's run it again. It'll start up again going double quick time. There we go. And let's play push the button. And we'll hear it on the Mac this time, uh, doing the extra bit. And we'll stop the program running. And as before, it leaves a lead on. So I'll come up here and I'll uncomment that line. Oops, I've deleted it instead. Let's undo that. Uh, we'll uncomment it. It's uh, Alt and, oops, here we go. Again, very difficult one-handed typing when I'm holding my camera in the other hand. I'll put a stop in there so it doesn't start the program again. STOP and let's uh, run this three, two, one, run. And it should have, oh no, uh, I had this running on a different machine before and I've not changed the address correctly. This address of my Pi is on there. And how do I know that? Well, Sonic Pi is very helpful in this because you're doing IO. If I turn on this section here and we look at the IO tab, you can see there that it tells me the local IP address is 119, so I don't have to go scrubbing around trying to find it. It's there. I come over here, make sure I've got the right address over here, back to here, looking at the LED, and we'll run that program again. It's going to send the message to turn the white LED off, and there it goes. So there we have it. Uh, controlling GPIO in both directions, input and output, all by means of Sonic Pi, with a little help from a Python uh, program running um, Sonic, uh, running Python, Python OSC. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and I will be publishing this so you can have a go yourself.